Hey, Andy here. Thanks for having a look at another one of my videos. This is just a quick one. Uh, you might call it a bit of a trap for young players. Not necessarily young, but people who just don't know what to look out for in Pro Tools and suddenly they, uh, somewhere along the line, realise that something strange has happened to their volume envelopes and they don't know what. I've done something on volume envelopes before and about how volume envelopes can affect certain plugins. Namely what I did was uh, I put a, a reverb on an insert on an audio channel and then I showed how the, uh, the volume envelopes can throw that off. It can also give you some very weird comments on LinkedIn as I discovered when I posted the video on LinkedIn but I'm not going into that. What we're going to do this time is we're going to see how the, uh, the volume envelope affects the plugin, not the other way around. What I'm going to do is just set up a little bit of audio here, just simulate a mix that we might be doing. I've just got an auxiliary in, which is the microphone. I've got audio channel and I've got a master bus. So I've just highlighted five and a bit seconds of audio. I go other, signal generator, and I just want 1K tone is fine. Let's just turn it up a little bit because I'm going to turn it down in, the, in a couple of seconds. Minus six is cool. There's our 1K tone at minus six. Continuing to simulate the mix, let's just move it along in a little bit. Let's just turn the volume down a tad. Down to about minus seven and a half. Cool by me. Sounding awesome. Now, I just want to put at the end a little bit of verify. Sometimes nothing else will do. Verify. Now, I want to extend it. And that means that it'll slow down in time as well as in pitch. And I hit render. There is our rendered audio. Let's just highlight that, play it back. I'll just grab my headphones so that I can join in the fun. Let's have a listen to this. Whoa, what happened there at the end? Let's just highlight the end and play that again. Hmm, bit of a volume jump. What's happened? When it extended the, uh, the audio, it didn't extend the audio envelope for the volume. So really got to watch out for that. Otherwise, you can get these ugly spikes that really don't sound good at all. Um, easy way to do that is, of course, just manipulate the envelope there. Or you might want to just highlight that little bit and do Control D to duplicate it and get rid of the little dot if you want. And there, it's a whole lot tidier now. You can play it back and it'll sound Just a little thing to, uh, to watch out for. Hope you've gotten something out of this. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Head back uh, for every now and then. I'll be putting up new videos. Uh, keep an eye out on LinkedIn. I'll be putting them there as well. And on my website, andymar.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.